Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and I did a little experiment today. It's been a while since I've been on the DoorDash platform. I was out running some errands, so I parked the car just to see what kind of offers were coming in and whether or not I would take them. So just as a reference, I do mention this in the in-car video, but my minimum is $5 for three miles. So. Let's go to the in-car video and see what happened. All right, so it's been a while since I've done the double Ds, the DoorDash. So let's see, since it's very busy, we're gonna hit Dash now. We're just gonna say for about an hour, all my stuff is here and let's see what we get. I'll be sure to take screenshots and everything all right, first offer is for Denny's, 6.3 miles, $6.75. And of course, we're not going to accept that garbage. Distance is too far. All right, next offer is for Taco Smell. Um, yeah, $11 for 8.2 miles. It's too far. Uh, I'm not driving 8.2 miles this morning. So my goal this morning is to get trips because I'm just messing around. Now here, I, <laughs> this is the thing that bugs me about these, about these apps. I just said the six mile trip was too far and it sends me a trip for eight miles. Hello? Hello, McFly? Uh, Panera Bread, 625 for 5.2 miles. Um, let's see, and then where is it going? Uh, there, and then it's coming uh, right back in this direction. Now, I am going to decline this because I really would like something uh, in my heading towards where I want to, how about store is not at my starting point. We're just going to pick all the options today on uh, what we don't like. So there's a Starbucks down the road. There's another coffee shop, like a quarter mile this way. There's a coffee shop over here. There's a coffee shop down there. It, you know, maybe the issue is that I'm not, I wasn't out early enough uh, to do the coffee shops. We're going to, I guess, do this until I get suspended. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people say that uh, if you decline too many, decline too many offers, DoorDash puts you on pause. So let's see if they put me on pause. I'm just parked here. I'm not driving anywhere, um, which is, I think, the best way to do it. There's a cluster of restaurants on the other side of town where I live, but I was on this side of town this morning running some errands. So we're just going to see what happens here. So far, nada. Uh, we got another offer, the Burger Den, $8.50, $8 going 5.8 miles. Uh, yeah, we're going to decline that too. Oh, wait a minute, go back. I gotta take a screenshot. And I think when you see the map, you'll see what I mean, because basically every single one of these trips, every single one of these trips has me going to the store and then coming back in the opposite direction. So it's really like doubling my mileage. So I don't know, maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Because I what if I had if I were on the other side of town, I would have gotten that Taco Bell. Uh, so it's about two miles over there, right? One of these was eleven dollars for eight, uh, eight fifty, I think, or eleven eleven dollars for eight and a half miles. You know, eleven dollars for six miles is a little more reasonable. But honestly, I don't want to drive that far this morning. Um, it's about four miles to my house, so if I could get something from here going in that direction, that's what would be ideal. I'll wait for one more order and see what happens. I think that'll be five orders and we'll go from there. Busy downtown today. 
Now, if I had been doing ride share, you know, I would have taken a ride already. Because you don't see the distance and you don't see the amount that you're going to be paid. This is information that I think would revolutionize the rideshare industry because basically, and, and this is what I think should, is, the, is the concept that I think should happen. Uber and Lyft send a ride request out and if a driver doesn't accept it, they put the reasoning in. Uh, pickup distance is too far, say for example. And then that rider, say after... Oh, here we go. we got another order coming in for CVS. I just got the text, but I'm not seeing it on the screen. Um, hello? Go to CVS. Let's go back into DoorDash and see if it's, it's not even coming up in DoorDash. Oh, here it comes. 850, four point miles, uh, CVS. Oh, it's a CVS up Route 9. It's not really. Oh, it just declined it. Dang it. Oh, I didn't get back in. It just it didn't show up on the screen. So not much to be done about that. Uh, that might have been something that that would have been something I would have taken. It's not really in the direction that I'm heading, but it's kind of like it would have been a circuitous route to where I'm heading. So let's wait for one more because I didn't get a chance to screen cap that. And I think that'll be what six orders now that so the goal is a minimum of $5, and I don't want to drive more than three miles for $5. That's the goal. That's all I want. DoorDash, give me a $5 order, and I don't want to drive more than three miles. I think most drivers, if they got paid $1.50 a mile, they would take nearly every order. You let me know. What is your, what, what would be your just base minimum? And I know there's a lot of you in markets where you can say, I don't take anything for less than $2 a mile. But if you were just not even considering, uh, if they never, if they didn't show you, if you knew you were getting paid $1.50 a mile, um, would you be concerned about... Uh, seeing all this information, where it's going, how many items are in the order. If you knew you were going to get $1.50 a mile, is all that information important to you? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of these little... Let's screenshot this. It's telling me the other side of town is on fire. Although I got... Uh, yeah, I'm right at Saratoga Coffee Trader. So why isn't anything... I'm like literally sitting on top of the coffee shop. We're, and, and I go to this coffee shop, but I got nothing. I got nothing. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for this little experiment. Like I said, I would have taken that CVS order. Unfortunately, I didn't get an opportunity to screenshot it. It was six. What is it? Six fifty for four point seven miles. That CVS order was the last one that I got, and it was heading in. The general direction I wanted to go. Um, so we're just going to sign this puppy off and let's see, we're going to end dash. It's busy. Okay, demand is high for dashers. Nope. And done. So that's the experiment. My name is John from Ride Up State and although I don't normally do food delivery, I just wanted to see what it was like in mid-January here in upstate New York. And it looks like, as usual, if you want to do a lot of driving, you can make a lot of money. That's it. Talk to you next time. Bye.